Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, just recently we have get from NCSoft officially brand new trailer with big announcement that on November 2nd we are getting a launch showcase regarding Korean release of this game. With that announcement we have get this trailer which you can see in front of you and it's actually a short trailer, not that long. However, even within this short trailer there are so many interesting new information about the game, you will discover that together with me in the next few minutes. I have analyzed already during live stream this trailer, but for this purpose, for this part of the live stream, we are going to check again. This amazing trailer with interesting in-game features, some boss mechanics and beautiful weapons. You need to check this out in the next few minutes. Uh, let's see this trailer again from the start to show you why am I saying that there are so many interesting things to analyze here. On the start of the trailer, I need to stop right away now at this point before I lose this image. You can go here. You can see already huge diversity of weapons and beautiful graphic design for characters and weapons. In Throne and Liberty, there won't be any kind of classes. You will need to pick a role. And how will you pick a role? Very simple, by picking different kind of weapons. You will be able to pick two sets of weapons and to change them, switch between them in the game during the combat very swiftly. I will show you one special moment a little bit later when one character is switching between greatsword and bow very fast in the combat while moving, moving while attacking. Really beautiful picture. I will show you that a little bit, a little bit later. Now you can see here in front of you what is important to say. Uh, different kind of weapons. You can see here sword and shield character in front. Then one character using bow and arrows on the left side. On the right side you can see uh, some kind of staff, a uh, book, uh, great sword, long sword, two-handed weapon you will see later. And one character using uh, crossbow. Next thing which we can see here, beautiful graphic design, right? I love this armor, plate armor in the middle, leather kind of armor on the right side. Really beautiful. Regarding graphic design, just to add this, uh, many people complain about different kind of in-game features. Uh, people complain maybe about pay to win. Regarding many things, you can complain. But regarding graphic design, nobody can complain. Antisoft will deliver. Antisoft will deliver without any doubt. Beautiful graphic design for characters, armor, weapon, for everything you will see a little bit later during this trailer. Okay, some environment, beautiful environment, different kind of environment. Then we have here, I assume this will be some kind of event in the game is starting. Uh, there will be different kind of regional events in the game happening. Look at this. This is so beautiful shield. Let me show you this. Now you can see it. Check out this shield. Looking absolutely impressive, right? We can see here one uh, big monster jumping down. Uh, probably some kind of raid boss. Let's see it. And we have here first raid, example of first raid. Raids will be thing in Throne and Liberty. Massive content. Wow. Really beautiful. Siege. In front of you, you can see another, another reason why this MMORPG will be huge. In MMORPGs, if you enjoy in this massive multiplayer content, then you will enjoy in Throne and Liberty. Here we have start of the siege. We can see here one of the characters in the game have transformed into Golem. This Golem will have special abilities during the siege gameplay. So massive content you can see here. Uh, characters in uh, already in different kind of transformation attacking the fort. Transformation, animal transformation. You can see here characters transforming into a bird. You'll be able to transform into different kind of animals. Check dedicated video on my YouTube channel. I have already made like two videos regarding animal transformation in Throne and Liberty on my YouTube channel. Why? This will be very important in-game feature. When you transform into different kind of animals, you'll be able to get different kind of abilities and skills. Obviously, if you can transform into a bird here, you'll be able to glide to fly from some higher distance and to see better uh, everything around you. You can see here this transformation into bird. Another, another raid, another massive content here. You can see here about what, maybe 20, about 20 characters on the screen, probably using different kind of skills, abilities and weapons on this uh, big boss in the middle. Okay. Again here, 
Uh, I don't know what is this. It's looking like some kind of puzzle game. Maybe you are trying to reach something uh, with this transformation. You can see here, look, character using a few different... Okay, we need to stop here for one second. So people were complaining after that closed beta test in Korea that Combat of Throne and Liberty was not dynamic. NCSoft have listened feedback of players and they have implemented huge changes to the game. They have made combat dynamic. Now you can move while you attack. You can see here this caster kind of character casting and moving while attack. That is what community wanted and NCSoft did deliver. Let's check it out. Okay. Oh, look at this. Another boss raid, another boss fight. We are going to check now weapon of this character. Check out this beautiful greatsword. What kind of beauty of the weapon is this? Like I said, regarding graphic design, there is no doubt NCSoft will always deliver. What is interesting also, you can see here in the right upper corner, this kind of sight, some kind of sight weapon. This is main weapon of this big boss, also beautiful graphic design. And now look how fast will this character switch from greatsword into the bow. So you can switch between two weapons even during combat very swiftly, very fast. That is very important. Let's check it out. Did you see it? And also while this character was shooting arrows, he was moving. That character was moving and shooting arrows. That we wanted, we have get it. Amazing, right? Now, I have for you this interesting boss and one mechanic of this boss. I have already analyzed this uh, footage. Let me tell you what will happen here. You can see here characters attacking this boss in the middle. Let's go a little bit forward. Chain, chain and a hook. Why? You can see here, this is interesting, right? Uh, these characters using chain and a hook during this uh, fast paced combat on this boss. Uh, this is now chain and a hook using chain. Look at this moment now. Now we have here this boss in the left part of the screen sending some kind of wave across the battlefield. Now the only way how to avoid that wave is to use that chain, that hook, right, to go up, to go up on this chain which is coming from the ceiling. Otherwise you will die, right? So you cannot go around, you cannot jump on it. Uh, you need to avoid this wave. Look at this. Amazing, right? Beautiful mechanics of the game. Really beautiful mechanics of the game. So one of the interesting boss mechanics in this game, right? You'll be able to use some kind of hook to avoid uh, different kind of attacks uh, from the boss. Let's check again this special moment. Let's go again. Okay, Look, you see the wave and characters using hook to go above. Let's go forward. We can see here fight of the golems. Uh, here we have two golem transformation, I assume. I don't think these are world bosses. This would be two characters in uh, golem transformation fighting against each other, probably during siege gameplay. So this golem transformation will be a thing and transformation into different kind of forms. Other forms like bird, like golem in uh, this game will be a thing. Nice. Another raid. Oh, this is looking so good. Another party, another raid. Check out this. Here we have characters using a different kind of transformation. Again, abilities to come to this raid or to escape from this raid, right? In certain moment, you can transform very quickly with your character. So these actually, what you can see here in front of you, are not pets. These are actually animal transformation. These are actually characters on the battlefield transforming from animal into character and in opposite direction, from character into animal. You can see it here. Oh, look at this boss. This is looking so good. Wow. Again, graphic design, absolutely. NCSoft always delivers. Regarding a legacy of NCSoft, regarding a building, creating different kind of MMORPGs. When I just think about games like Blade and Soul, beautiful absolutely beautiful i remember like yesterday when blade and soul was released that was a long time ago i remember i was playing that game after release right away it was looking amazing blade and soul shiny bright many details beautiful graphic design but not only blade and soul then you look at the games like lineage when you look at the games like ion 
absolutely anti-soft in general, not only in MMORPGs, regarding graphic design, they're always one step above everybody else. Really beautiful. Look at this boss, right? Let's check this boss find. Okay, characters moving. Beautiful environment. Oh, beautiful shield again. You see these characters have just, this character in front of you wearing shield will have just transformed from animal form into character and going to attack the boss. Wow, that, and this last picture, absolutely. This last frame in this very short trailer, look at this. We can see here four different kind of characters, right? Each one of these character is using different kind of weapon. On the left side, we have here character using bow. Then we have one character using great sword, a sword and a shield, third character. And fourth character, possibly healer using staff and some kind of spell. But I assume not a healer, this uh, character I assume is some kind of spell caster role. There are probably two more characters in this party because a party should consist out of six players, not four players here in this game. But maybe the, this party is actually maybe four players party, right? In this game, maybe we will have some dungeons and raids with four players party. We can see here this beautiful frame. Check out this boss and this attack. Let's go a little bit further. Slow motion, nice, right? Everything is looking better in slow motion, right? Everything is looking better in slow motion. Nice. And that big announcement, a launching showcase on November 2nd, 2023. Yes, of course, I will follow what, what will happen over there in Korea on November 2nd, 2023 regarding the launching showcase, what new information we will get from developers of this game, NCSoft, and regarding release date. I assume probably, potentially, we'll get a release date on November 2nd uh, for Korean version of the game, which should be released during December. Actually, within this letter, I can show you here, it's confirmed. It's confirmed here uh, within this letter, which we have get from producer of the game. We have get confirmed again that game will be released over there in Korea in December. It's written actually here. So you can see here, check this out. Our goal is to launch in December. So, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, this was actually a really short trailer, but very exciting trailer, which we have seen, where we have seen a really interesting uh, new information about the game, some game mechanics, right? And for everything else, we need to be patient a little bit more and wait for November 2nd. If you are watching my live stream, let's go for our live stream. If you are watching this is video on my YouTube channel, Thank you for watching the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Twitch to see more of MMORPG content and of course Throne and Liberty content in the future. I am live streaming every evening about 7 o'clock Central European time, so join me to see some gameplay and to find out what is happening in MMORPG and PC gaming world. See you soon.